Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. So the question today is, how do you raise up your Harley Davidson? There are many procedures when you're servicing your motorcycle where you need to lift a part of your motorcycle to work on. And there are several of you out there that like to really clean your motorcycle and lift it up so you can really detail a lot of areas. So today we're going to talk about lifting your Harley Davidson. First, I want to say, when you are lifting your motorcycle, safety is the first thing you should think about. If you need two people to do the job, please ask the wife, the older boy, whatever, to hold the motorcycle while you are lifting so both of you can keep it at a safe way to lift it up. All right, now I'd like to start by showing you the very first lift I used 30 years ago. Yeah, real simple, sturdy but it does have its drawbacks. Let me show you how it works. You slide it underneath the motorcycle, raise the motorcycle up, and that's how we used to raise the back end to service the back end. Now, the drawbacks, one, motorcycle can slide forward and right off the lift. Two, Somebody could walk by and hit the lever, and boy, you got a mouse trap. Starts really quick and gets out of the way. And the third thing, which I will demonstrate hopefully well, is that putting it down is scary. Because you got the weight of the motorcycle and gravity working for you. But it does work, and that's what we used 30 years ago. Now, another style of lift that has become quite popular, a lot of companies sell it, is this style lift. It can be made very well and it can be made very poorly. This lift slides underneath the motorcycle, but as you can see this one stopped. There are a couple of things that this does not work with. One, a lot of Harley Davidsons are lowered and it won't reach underneath it because of its starting height. Second thing is the Sportster has an exhaust system that is down lower and this Dyna the factory made a protective plate here to protect the oil pan. This can slide underneath it barely, but then it's cocked when it comes up. It's not a level surface. So some of these models will not work with some other models. You need to consider that. Some of the other things to look at if you really need to purchase a lift like this is the construction. Is it heavy duty? Was it made for a full-size motorcycle? Many of these are made for lighter motorcycles, let's say dirt bikes, something very small. So you have to do your homework and make sure that these are made to lift a Harley-Davidson. The hydraulic jack, at least a thousand pounds, it can lift up sturdy. And the last thing to look for is a lock. When you lift this up, you have to have some type of mechanism to lock it. Here's why. Story. Customer purchased one of these, brought it home, wanted to detail his motorcycle, lifted up his motorcycle, was cleaning it, only got halfway through. This guy really knows how to clean. Got halfway through, went to bed. The next morning he came out to the garage, motorcycle was on its side, yes, on the floor, in a pool of gasoline. What happened? The hydraulic unit leaked down, no jiffy stand, came down all night long and then fell over. So there has to be some type of lock that will hold it in place just in case the hydraulic unit does leak down. Okay, so this is one of the avenues out there, but do your research, get one that can lift a heavy Harley-Davidson motorcycle. Here at Low Country Harley-Davidson, we use this type of lift. We love it, it works great. It uses air to raise and lower it. Now you can get this type of model with electric if you don't have an air compressor at home. An electric motor can raise and lift it. And I have seen a smaller version that used a foot pump to raise and lower it. We love these because they're built for a full-size motorcycle, built for a Harley Davidson, and it has many features. One is a great vice for squeezing the front tire or the rear tire. Yes, rear tire. Sometimes we back a motorcycle in to service the front. That's something you need to look and investigate when you purchase one, because let's just say you have one of the brand new breakouts that have a 300 size tire. Many of the early models do not open up wide enough to get a rear tire that wide into the back of it. Another feature, eyelets. 
two of them to strap down your motorcycle. Safety is an important thing. So we strap the motorcycle to the front forks, not the handlebars, so it'll hold it and be safe. This one came with the accessory side panel, so you have more area to work with. When I disassemble a primary, I can put it over to the side and not have to make several trips to the shelving. So that's helpful. It comes with a very sturdy ramp that you can take off when you have your motorcycle up or you can put it back down when you're rolling it out. This is a very sturdy and we use it all the time and we have never replaced one in the last 10 years. It's sturdily made. Now, yes, it takes up a lot of space so you have to uh, uh, deal with your wife and ask her can you have a lot more in the garage than her car fits, okay? Something like this takes up space. Now, if you are a trike owner, Yes, they offer a trike, but of course, it's a whole lot bigger and you need space. Now, I will have you look at the orange lift over here. It has a back panel to it. Some of them come with the back panel, so you can lower a rear tire down after you've disconnected it, so it's easily get out from underneath the fender. Different accessories for different models. Look at the strength of it and what it can lift and get one that has a good reviews online. So, how do you raise your Harley? Share, post it. I'm Doc Harley, we'll see you next week.